Hey everyone, I'm Kay, and if you're new here, I'm a part-time reseller on the Poshmark app. I also dabble in eBay, but this video is just going to be what sold on Poshmark for the month of September. Um, if you're not new here, I appreciate you tuning in to another episode of this, and I apologize for the lateness of August review, um, since I just shot that last week before I left for vacation, but let's just roll with the fact that this month is a little bit early. Uh, so first things first, you will see the pictures over here on this side of the screen once I go in and edit so that you can see the actual physical item that sold. Um, and let's just hop right into it. I'm going to throw a bunch of numbers at you to begin with and then we'll go through each and every item that sold. So in total, I sold 60 items in the month of September, so most items I've ever sold. Uh, six of those were full price sales, two were bundle sales. Actually, one was the largest bundle I'd ever sold. But we'll get to that when we come to it. Um, the ASP for the month was twenty nine fifty seven, which is exactly four dollars over what I what the ASP was for August. So slowly but surely creeping into that thirty dollar ASP range, which is a great place to be at. The total cost of goods for the entire month was two hundred and forty seven dollars and twenty cents, and I somehow managed to turn that into one thousand seven hundred and seventy four dollars. That is before all the Poshmark fees, the shipping discounts, etc. Um, my actual take home pay for the month was $1,384.47, uh, meaning my profit was $1,137.27. So I finally hit over the $1,000 threshold, which is great, especially for a part timer. Um, and this money all goes to my traveling. It actually paid for my trip to Costa Rica, which I just got back from on Sunday, and today's Friday, um, and it also paid for my Copenhagen trip at the end of this month. So it's going well so far. Hopefully we can keep this going and continue to increase every month, um, but let's get right into the items. So on the first, I made three sales, one of which was a full price sale. The first item was a pair of Italian leather Sabika. I don't know how to pronounce that, but it's as good as I'm gonna get. Uh, studded clogs. I bought these for $2.24. They sold for $30. My net earnings were $24, so I profited $21.76. Um, next was the full price sale for this day. It was a pair of Dansko clogs, and I've mentioned this in numerous videos. I'll mention it again. Always pick up Dansko if you can get them for a reasonable price because they sell. I bought these for $3.99, they sold outright for $35, I got $28, so my profit was $24.01. The third item that sold on the first was a pair of Sam Edelman Gracie flip flops in a nude color. Um, I bought these for $4.49, I took a best offer of $17, so that left me with a profit of only $9.11 after all the fees, which I like to stay above $10, but hey, it's out of my house, um, as Shailene Sean I usually says uh, I'm not in the storage business I want this shit out of my house um, so I didn't make any sales on the second but on the third I made two sales um, the first was a pair of dance goes but not clogs they were sandals so this just goes to show pick up dance go even if it's not the nursing clog style they'll still sell I bought these for $3.99 they sold for $25 so my profit was $16.01 uh, next was a Coach Alexandra Signature Monogram Hobo Bag. I bought this for $12.99 at um, Savers. It was kind of expensive for me to spend that much on a bag, but I figured it would sell. It took a little bit longer than I expected it to, but it sold for $90. My take home was $65.51, so that leaves me with a profit of $52.52. So, not a bad sale. <laughs> Uh, on the 4th, I made one sale and it was full price. It was a Fossil Long Live Vintage Messenger Satchel. I bought this at a 50% off sale at Savers for $12.49. So again, another higher priced bag, but it paid off. Um, it sold for $65 and I got $39.51 profit out of that. On the 5th, I also made one sale. It was a Black Suede Madewell Frankie Pump. These didn't sell as fast as I thought they would, but still didn't sit for too long. I paid $3.56 for them. They sold for $85. Um, my take home was $61.51, so my profit was $57.95. So again, not bad to make a profit of almost $58 on a pair of shoes. And they sat for maybe a month or so. Uh, on the sixth, again, one sale. 
Uh, it was a Junk Food Rolling Stones UK tour, 1971 graphic tee. If you follow Empty Hanger, she is great with these graphic band tees, so I've been picking them up when I can find them for cheap. This one I paid 99 cents for. It sold for $20, so my profit was $19.01. Um, on the 7th, I made three sales. Uh, the first was a pair of Evolve Electra rock climbing shoes. If you watched my previous videos, I've sold another pair of rock climbing shoes from this brand before. That was from my own personal closet, but these I actually bought from the store, so I paid $3.99 for those. They sold for $25. My profit was $22.51. Next was a pair of Lucky Brand Emmy flats. Lucky Brand flats usually do pretty well for me. Uh, they sold for $20. I paid $2.67, so my profit is $13.33. Next was a Lucky Brand Royal Iron Tattoo Parlor Skull Tee. I don't usually pick up too many tees because they're kind of a tougher sell and this was a men's, but if it's Lucky Brand, it usually goes pretty quickly. I paid 99 cents for it. It sold for $14 on best offer. My profit was $8.56. No sales on the 8th, but on the 9th I made a full price sale on a pair of distressed Hudson Collins skinny crop jeans. I paid $6.29 for them. Um, which is kind of high for me for jeans because I don't like to sell jeans. They're a pain in the ass to do all the measurements and list. Um, but they sold for $31 and I took home a profit of $18.51. Um, on the 10th, I made three sales. The first was a Vineyard Vines orange and white stripe polo. This was a men's item. I actually had it listed on eBay, but it sold on Poshmark. Uh, I paid $1.99 for it. It sold for $25 and my profit was $16.51. Next was a pair of BG Body Geometry Brown Suede Spin Cycle Shoes. Um, never picked up spin shoes before. Uh, never owned spin shoes before. I have taken a spin class, but never used actual shoes. Um, I paid $3.18 for them. They sold for $25 on an offer, and my profit was $16.82. The last item I sold for the 10th was a pair of Converse All-Star Chuck Taylors. I bought those for $3.99. They sold for $40. I made a profit of $28.01. Um, on the 11th, I had two sales. The first was the Jessica Simpson Georgina Studded Platform Heels. I paid $3.59 for those. They sold for $17, which is kind of low. Um, so my profit was just over my $10 threshold at $10.01. Excuse me while I take a drink. Um, the other item that sold in the 11th was conveniently another Jessica Simpson item. It was a jean jacket. I bought this from a consignment store years ago. I think I wore it maybe one time, so it's from my personal closet, and I record that COGS as zero. So it sold for $24, meaning that my net earnings of $17.70 was also my profit. On the 12th, I made three sales. The first was a pair of bright green Franco Sardo sandals. Um, they were a suede wedge. Um, I bought those from a thrift store for myself, never ended up wearing them, wasn't going to wear them, so I recorded the cogs as zero as well. They sold for 17, so my profit was the 1210 that I took from that. Um, next was a blue free people blouse. Um, I think I paid 99 cents for this, but I can't actually remember because it was before I really started getting into reselling, so I just recorded it as zero, but I think maybe it was 99 cents if anything. Uh, it sold for $7, which is extremely low for free people in my opinion, but whatever is out of here. Um, and so I record my profit as $4.05. Um, and then I sold a pair of Teva black leather cork wedge sandals. If you see Teva, try to pick them up if they're pretty cheap. People like them. Uh, they sold for $20. I paid $3.99, so my profit is $12.01. Um, on the 14th, I made a few sales, um, looks like five, one was a bundle. So the first was a bundle of two pairs of shoes, both the same brand, same style, different colors. So they were an earth brand, they're called the Christy Leather Peep Toe, and they're like an ankle booty style, so I had a pair in black and a pair in taupe in the same size. Um, the bundle sold for $60, my total purchase price was $8.54 meaning that my profit on both pairs of shoes is $39.56. So not bad for two pairs of shoes, almost $40 profit. Next was a Friends TV show off the shoulder sweater. I picked this up on a whim just because I like that show and I thought it would go. Uh, it sold for $20, I paid $3.99, so the profit is $10.51. Next was another men's item that I also had on eBay but it sold on Poshmark. 
um, which just goes to show you that you should cross list your items because even if you don't think men's items will sell, they will. Uh, Robert Graham Slim Jim Jeans size 36. They sold for $49 on an offer. I paid $5.99, so my profit is $31.71. Um, next was a full price sale on a Sam Edelman Circus Jolie Black Fringe Booties. If you're not picking up fringe for fall, please do so because it goes rather quickly. I think I had these maybe listed for a day or two. I paid $3.99. They sold for $45 outright, so my profit is $32.01. And the last item that sold on the 14th was a Bravado Guns N' Roses Distress Graphic Sweater. I picked this up from the same store as the Friends TV show sweater on the same day. Um, so the cost was actually also the same, $3.99. It sold for $25, so $5 more than the friend sweater, and my profit was $14.51. No sales on the 15th, but on the 16th I made one sale, but it was a bundle of one, two, three, four, five, nine items. Um, I'll run through them quickly. So the first was a new with tags page canyon boot cut jeans. These fuckers sat forever so I was finally glad to get them out of here I paid $6.99 for those um and Urban Outfitters Three Feathers Long Sleeve it's actually a men's brand from Urban Outfitters but and this bundle purchase was for um a teenage girl but whatever so those I paid $5.59 for the new with tags Drew Whitney Striped Tulip Pant I got these at the TJ Maxx Yellow Tag Clearance Sale they were $12. I actually originally bought them for myself and then forgot to return them. So that sucks for me, but hey, I sold them. Um, a Mighty Mighty Boston's Graphic Band Tee. Again, with the band tees, I paid $0.99 cents for. Um, a Coach Karina Gold Crackle Leather Stitch Heels. I got for $2.79. <coughs> Excuse me, my throat is going to be dry from talking so much. A pair of Aldo Black Leather Pumps that I got for $3.99. A gray pinstripe banana republic wool blazer that I bought for 99 cents forever ago and it sat for a while. Um, a new with tags and Taylor loft pinstripe blazer that I got for 99 cents that also sat for a little bit. And a Tommy Hilfiger embroidered crew neck logo sweater that I got for, um, I can't tell because I actually added, I had to pay extra shipping. Um, to send this box as it was very heavy. So I recorded the cost of goods for the sweater at $14.96, which includes the overage. I think the box was almost 10 pounds, so I paid quite a bit in extra shipping, but I think the sweater was maybe $3.99. Um, so all together, the total cogs for these nine items was $49.29. Um, the bundle did sell, however, for $205, so I took home $164 after the Poshmark fees. Um, so my profit for the bundle is $114.71. So a little bit over $10 per item, which is fine because it got rid of a lot of inventory that had been sitting for a while, so I'm happy with that. Um, on the 17th, I made one sale, but it was a full price sale. It was a black corduroy pair of slip-on vans. I paid $4 for those. They sold for $42, so my profit is $29.60. On the 18th, I sold three items. One was a full price sale. The first was the uh, Karen Mellon tweed, tweed and faux leather leggings. I got these from a clearance um, sale at a consignment shop. They were $5.99. They sold for $35, so my profit is $22.01. Next was a Coral Universal Thread sleeveless top I got for $0.99. Cents. It sold for $16, so my profit is $10.31. Um, the last one was a full price sale. It was a pair of Citizens of Humanity Agnes long mid-rise jeans. I got these for free because the thrift store I bought them for made a mistake and didn't charge me for a whole bunch of items, which worked out for me, but I kind of feel bad about it, but I didn't notice it until I got home. Uh, they sold for $75, so that means that my profit recorded is the full $60 after the fees. Um, no sales on the 19th. On the 20th, I made another three sales. The first is an Apartment 9 Cognac Ankle Booties. I got these for $5.99. Um, they looked pretty much brand new, but they sold for $29, so my profit was $15.71. Next was a Junk Food Run DMC Graphic Tee, again with the band tees. Um, $0.88 cents I paid. They sold for $15, so my profit's $11.12. 
The last item from the 20th is a vintage gold whiting and Davis clutch. Um, I paid $9.99 for it, which again is kind of high, but it seems like most of the bags in this review I paid a little bit up for. Uh, sold for $38, so my profit was $20.41. Uh, I've actually sold quite a few pa uh, bags from Whiting and Davis, so if you see them, they're vintage style um, chain mail. You'll see in the picture in a moment if you haven't already, um, but definitely pick them up if you can get them for a decent price. Uh, on the 21st, I made one sale. It was a cut from the cloth Diana Skinny black um, jeans. I paid $4.49 for those. They sold for $18, so my profit was $8.41, so under the $10, but hey, they're out of here. On the 22nd, I made five sales. The first was a Madewell silk belt sleeve tunic dress. I can't get my words out. I bought it for $6 at a Goodwill store that's actually adjacent to a, um, a bins. Uh, I, I sold for $27. Again, can't talk as per usual in my videos. So my profit is $15.60. Also, by the way, I do these in one shot. I don't cut and edit parts out so what you see is what you get I just try to film it all in one shot and be done with it uh, next was a 41 Hawthorne which is a stitch fix it's actually the second item I've stole a uh, sold from this brand um, I paid $3.49 for it it sold for 14 so my profit is $7.56 next is a vintage Nike embroidered swoosh logo sweatshirt I bought for $2.99 um, everyone thought I was crazy for picking this up, but it sold for $30, and so I profited $21.01. Uh, next was a pair of Joe's jeans, the Charlie Lacey High Rise Skinny. I paid $3.14 for those. They sold for $30, so my profit is $20.86. Uh, the last sale from the 22nd was a Kipling Gray Tri-Zip Wristlet. I paid $1.89 for it. It sold for $16 and I made a profit of $9.41. So again, under the $10, but it's gone. Almost done, I swear. On the 23rd, I made one sale. It was a pair of LF Boutique Carmar Light Wash Distress Shorts. It's actually the second pair of shorts that I've sold from this boutique brand. Um, this one didn't have patches on it. It was just really distressed. I paid $4.99 for those. They sold for $28 on an offer. So I made $15.91. On the 24th, I made three sales. The first was the New Without Tags Made Well Distressed Alley Straight Jeans. Um, they actually were new, um, but they had some damage to them. So right under the butt cheeks, uh, they had some rips in them. Uh, I did disclose it in the listing. They still sold for $33, meaning my profit was $15.91. Second item in a row with a profit of $15.91. Uh, next was a Texas Chainsaw Massacre graphic tee. As you know, Halloween's coming up this month, so I picked up a couple um, horror movie-themed tees. This is the first one that has sold. I bought it for $0.99. Cents. It sold for $13, um, and so my profit was $7.56. I actually worked out with this buyer um, a good deal because she only had a certain amount of dollars in her account, and so I just wanted to get it out of here, so that's why it sold for so low. Uh, the last item for the 24th was a new without tag sheer black H&M blouse. I only pick up H&M if I can find it for cheap, um, so usually I won't pay more than a dollar or so, um, and only if it's cute. I sold for 20 bucks, so my profit is $13.51. On the 25th, I made four sales. So the first is a Doc Martens Shoreditch boot um, in a brown floral print. See? Can't do it. Uh, they sold for $4.99. I mean, they, I paid $4.99, they sold for $30, so my profit is $19.01. Um, so actually, before I did this, I should have told you that from the 25th through the 30th, I was on vacation, so I did not put my closet on vacation mode, considering the fact that I was only going to be gone for a few days, so I figured that I would just ship everything out on Monday. I did leave a, um, a post up in my closet. I made sure it was at the top of the page so everyone would see it, that I was on vacation just so buyers would know that their items would be a little bit delayed in shipping, but it didn't seem to affect my sales too much. Uh, next was a Coach Sable Signature Studded Clogs. They were an older style, but I still picked them up anyways for $2.49. They sold for $17, so my profit was $11.11. Make a wish. Um, I then sold a Torrid Insider Collection Buckle Booties. I paid $3.99 for them. They sold for $25, so my profit is $16.01. I also sold a pair of Betsy Johnson Purple Velvet Animal Sneakers. I got these for Livy for $2 at a different store than I normally shop at, but then she ended up not 
wearing them. She wasn't with me when I bought them. I just thought they were kind of adorable. They sold for $12, so the profit is $5.55. But hey, that was a bad buy on my part because I bought them when she wasn't even around. So it ended up working out. On the 26th, I made two sales. The first was a pair of Lucky Brand Erin ballet flats. So again, with the Lucky Brand flats, I paid $3.99 for those. Um, they sold for $20, so my profit is $12.01. The other item was a pair of Keen waterproof sandals. Uh, funny story about these, I actually brought them with me on vacation, didn't expect them to sell. Uh, I ended up working out, she gave me a five star rating. I paid $4.25 for them and they sold for $35, so my profit was $22.25 and I actually got to wear the shoes for a day when we were on vacation. Um, we didn't make any sales on the 27th and then the 28th I made one. Uh, it was a Corky's brown leather strappy gladiator wedges. I paid $3.99 for those. They sold for $25, so my profit was $16.01. Um, I actually got a bad review on this one because the buyer had accidentally, accidentally purchased these because they were not the right size because they were a six, six and a half. Um, and she wears a six and a half, so she wasn't sure if they were gonna fit her and she wanted to cancel the order, but Livy was helping me package up stuff and I forgot to mention it, so they went out anyways, and so she was a little bit pissed about that, but I mean, whatever. You're the one that offered. You sent the offer on a pair of shoes that weren't your size, supposedly. Um, so really, that's your own fault. But anyways. On the 29th, I didn't make any sales, but on the 30th, I ended with a pretty decent sale. Um, it was a pair of boots by Ariat, uh, 224. They were called the Rio Suede Ankle Boot. These actually were um, not for resale. They were a sample, um, but I picked them up anyways. I've never sold a sample item before. I paid $4.49 for them, and they sold for $90, so that was a profit of $67.51. So a great way to end the month especially since the item before I had issues with the buyer but it all ended up working out for me so again I spent $247.20 in total on these 60 items um, and then I sold them for $1,774 I took home $1,384.47 meaning my profit in my pocket well, in my savings account, is $1,137.27 for the month of September. Um, I did make quite a few eBay sales as well. Again, I'm just going to go over some of the weird shit that sells on eBay. I'm not going to go through everything under the sun that has sold because A, it's not that much. B, it's probably not that interesting. Um, but I will make a video about that, so look for that soon. Um, I thank you so much for watching. I apologize. I shoot everything on my phone and like I said, I do everything in one take. So I try to make it as easy as possible. I actually shot the intro to this video um, six times before you're seeing this version. So it just goes to show you that I suck at this game, but I want to get the information out there because I feel like it's helpful for you guys to see what kind of money you can make especially as a part-time reseller since I do have a full-time job I am also a mom to a nine-year-old girl so I don't have a lot of free time but I like to travel so this is my travel fund um, at the end of the year I'm also going to make another video as I said in my previous one about how I've saved so much money in the past year and um, how I'm going to use that to be, try to become debt-free um, so I don't have a set goal on when I would like to become debt free but I have saved um, at least five digits this year alone so it's helpful I feel like for you guys to see that and this is a huge part of it Poshmark so I'm able to share uh, my own items I share other people's items um, I don't run sales I don't put my closet on vacation mode unless I'm going away for longer than the week um, but I'm still at it every day and it's something that I enjoy doing. I love going thrifting, picking up items, and I love seeing everyone else's success. So um, I follow a bunch of resellers on Instagram. If you don't follow me there, I'll put the um, my name 
my handle, whatever the fuck you call it, down below so you guys can see it. It's also always in the description box. Um, most of the pictures I actually post there are travel related, but most of my stories do involve reselling. So again, thank you so much for watching. I apologize this video is so shit in parts, but I just wanted to get the information out there for you. Um, so look forward to seeing you guys in my next video. I think I've done this a little too much in this video, but whatever. Um, and I, uh, I really appreciate you guys taking the time to sit here and listen to this crap. Um, and, uh, we'll see you in the next one. Bye.